So you got to catch these diamonds. I want to deal with anyone who is becoming weary and well doing. Um, <clears throat> I know this message is for somebody else because this is something that God gave me and I was dealing with. A lot of times, you know, we are doing everything we're supposed to be doing and we're not seeing a return. You know, you're, everything that you're sowing and it seems like you're not reaping it. And if you are reaping it, it's like you're only getting a little bit at a time. And so, you know, we, we become weary and then we start seeing, it's almost like, you know, when the Bible talks about seeing the wicked, it's like they prosper, but God remind us, do not even envy the wicked because eventually all that fast money, people come, you know, getting in with scamming and finessing people. And it's like, they're doing the wrong things, but yet they're the ones seem like they're getting the increase in life. But another thing that Satan don't show you is that how God speaks about the wicked will be cut off. They're going to wither away. Satan don't put that in there. That's what he don't show you. And a lot of times what Satan do is he'll put them in our face, the wicked, to, to show us how much they're prospering in life and getting that increase. And it's like we're going through this life with God and everything with God is always, it, it takes time. And it, and it helps us build up our patience. And a lot of us don't want to, we don't have patience or we don't, we don't want to practice having patience. So the enemy will always show you the wicked prospering. He's like, well, you could be having a better life, but yet you want to go the righteous way. You want to wait on God or, you know, you want to go this route. And so now you are uh, frustrated, you know what I'm saying, with the weight. But that's what he tried to do. He tried to, he tried to trick you out of your bigger blessings. Because when we wait on God or we're working with God, because at the same time, we are still putting our, our work in it too as well and you know he'll show us that you you taking all of this time when you can go this way and get it quick but we already know people that get it quick it don't last so you know and a lot of times satan will use that to try to bribe us into those things i'm just coming to remind you is that do not become weary and well doing what you're doing is going to pay off everything you're putting into your life your, your school you're trying to get a home or a better car whatever it is your business it's going to pay off. And I'm going to tell you how I know for sure. So one morning that I got off work and I was doing my morning prayer and my devotion, God, I heard clear. He said, Corinthians 2, 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 2. And I came to a, a scripture. It says, no eyes have seen, no ears have heard, no mind have imagined what God is going to do for those who he love or who love him. And when I read that, I just said, thank you, Lord, for reminding me that what you're going to do in my life is going to pay off and it's going to be bigger than what I even imagined. See, Satan want to trick you out of that with that fast life. So I'm just coming to let you know that you can't even imagine what God is getting ready to do. So believe me when I tell you this is your confirmation word. God, what God going to do, you can't even imagine it. Stop trying to imagine how this life is going to be. It's going to be bigger than what you expected. It always do. Anytime God has done something for me, it's bigger than what I thought. Or it, it, And it feels so good, too. Once, even if it was my job, getting a job. I'm telling you, when you get something that God has for you, it's so peaceful, so smooth. Now you're going to run into some people because they're always everywhere. You're going to run into those little, little naggers. But as far as your, your position, your life, it's going to be so, it's going to be so good. And that's what I have experienced. So that's why I say, wait on God, because you can't even imagine what he getting ready to do. This is your confirmation word. So go read that in first Corinthians chapter two. And keep that close to your heart. You see what I'm saying? You got to have it healed. Because if not, Satan going to rob you and make you feel discouraged. Don't let him do that. Because God has a big plan. It's coming.